All right, day one. Pack it up. <laughs> Smile, boys. <laughs> Tim already caught some live shrimp. Right out of here, man. I can't believe that. Stinking awesome. These guys caught some mangroves on that bridge over there, too. But we're going to head out for the first real day. See if we can get some fish. So, day one. Here we go. Kind of rough out here, but decided to, uh, yikes, brave it anyway and see if there's anything out here. The other guys are back in the channel. Decided I would go out here and see what it looked like, see if everybody can come out here or whatever and give it a shot. But it's pretty rough. It's supposed to lay down more and more as the day goes on. So, hopefully, that'll happen and be a little more realistic if I can. If all of us get out here to anchor up and this guy's got some good baits and we'll give it a shot. Okay, we're trying out on the back side edge of this little reef thing. In 10 foot of water. Oh, that was a good fish. Good bite right there. Probably jacked up my plastic, I bet. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. Hey, man. You catch any fish over there? Yeah, I'm getting a couple of trolling. Just kind of mutton. You're trolling? Yeah, I'm trolling a uh, jerk bait and I'm catching some fish. Really? But I haven't put a single thing in the box yet. Can you see me or are you guys back somewhere else? We're back in here. We got nice. Way out here, but it's a little rough today. I am I almost threw up a couple times already. <laughs> oh, it's that bad. Well, it, it's not that bad now. It's just when I came out, it was. So it kind of got a little. Yeah, I wanted to try it. This first day, we caught some nice mangroves. Didn't get a ton of footage of it. Uh, the guys caught them back in the, the channel and some deep current. And then I caught my limit out on the rocks uh, about a half mile offshore. So yeah, it was a nice first day, um, kind of leading leading into the trip here. So can't complain. And then we ended up catching some some crabs here too to put in the, put in the dinner mix so that was awesome as well we caught a ton of crabs this whole trip so that was a really fun thing to do too this was day two the uh, guys had rented a boat and went out on a boat and uh, I decided to stay back and fish the day myself on the kayak and it was Sunday and it was such a blessing to be out there I got to listen to a, a sermon and just beautiful day on the water it was nice and calm and uh, really had some good fish in here. This is, I started out in the, the mangroves, as you can see here in this clip, and then worked my way to channel fishing for a little bit, and then ended up really doing some, some good fishing on some shallow rocks. So uh, that's what's coming up.
hook the fish troll in here. Not sure what I got. Little mangrove. Okay. That was fun. Well, just caught a mackerel. Trolling. So that was cool. This trolling thing's pretty good in the keys, really. I'm gonna bleed him out here. There we go. I just covered my phone in scales here. All right. Let's get it unhooked and then we'll try to get him in the box here. This is awesome. I could just troll around all day with the, with the way this is going. First fish was just a little mackerel, but it's, I had three or four other bites. I mean, a little uh, mangrove and then this guy. And I had probably, like I said, I could feel three or four bites. This guy nailed it. Oh, wrong side, but that's okay. Okay, let's get this box open. There we go. Fish number two. All right, that was awesome. Let's keep trolling. I'm gonna rinse out this kayak. Rinse my feet off. Okay, let's get this reeled back up. get back to it just trolling a Missouri here just awesome that was really cool take that all day nine foot of water Seems to be the key. Caught both fish in that nine foot. All right. Oh, I think I see some more bait crushing up here. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, we're out in this channel. Just put a mangrove in the box. Nice. And got a mackerel and two mangroves so far, but the mackerel was on the troll. But yeah, already a good start with no current. Yeah, I made it onto some rock piles here just to kind of attempt to load up some fish. I've already lost a bunch of fish here. Yep, he's under that rock. He's still on, I can feel him. Whatever it is. like three big fish now all of them have went into rocks and i got a heavier town test on right now and i just could not get him out no he's he might not even be on anymore yeah, i think he's gone already oh, i got him out what is it Oh, nice yellow jack. Yes. Oh, he 
I think, I think he had a Goliath eat him. Yes, that's what happened. I caught a nice yellow jack and a Goliath ate him and took him in the hole and I just pulled it back out of his mouth. <laughs> Look at that. What are the chances of that? We'll take it. I don't care, he's going cooler. He bled him for me. <laughs> that is awesome. Just changed out that bait and I've caught like, had a bunch of bites and broke off a big fish and then caught that guy, which I thought I was gonna break off. So that was, that was cool pulling it back out of a Goliath mouth. <laughs> I gotta check this leader. Man, believe it or not, it didn't do much. I think it was just jammed under there because it was in a Goliath's mouth. That was pretty darn cool. I don't think I might not ever have hap that have that happen again to get a fish back from a Goliath. <laughs> but I'll take it. Man, that thing was fighting and all of a sudden it just took off and I'm like, wait a second. Something don't seem right here. That was that was pretty crazy. Nice fish. Definitely not something for the box, but still cool. Oh man, I see a big fish by this coral right here. Ooh, there's something nice down there. Man, I'm not sure if I shouldn't have been fishing my lure down in this spot. This looks pretty good. coral heads here. Something. A yellow jack. We'll keep him too because we're going to make some sashimi tonight. I think we're going to have the neighbors come. He's little, but if I get anything off him for sashimi, that'll be nice. Sweet. Definitely want to bleed these guys for sashimi. Man, it's so much fish. Sure, I just busted a nice keeper yellowtail here. If he doesn't keep, he's going to be darn close out on the front side of this rock piles here. Let's check him out really quick. Oh yeah, it keeps. Nice fish. That's awesome. Another fish in. Man, that's some good fishing. This area has been really good. Don't love this hook for these lures though. That's the only issue I'm running into. I think I'm gonna change it. Cause I'm basically wasting these, uh, I'm wasting these lures and that's just dumb. These are my, I really like these. These seem to be what the color that they're on. It's like a pearl, like a bright pearl. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna be just the right hook for this right here. Go with something like this, a little daintier. Wish it was a little heavier, but I still think this is a better route than than going with uh, those hooks that, you know, the front side of this little bait is real thin. So I think what's happening is because of that, the, the way the bait holder was on that bigger hook, it's, it's made to throw a bigger bait on it. So it just makes it kind of tough, but yeah, this, this area is really cool getting kind of everything I would want to get right here. Might even come back here another day yet. It's just too, uh, kind of too good. Fishing in 11 to four foot of water, basically. On some rocks, reefs, whatever you want to call it. Some of it looks like reef. A lot of it looks like uh, rocks.
grunt ski. Just pulled a nice red grouper out of his hole. <laughs> that's a good fish. Not really sure how big he really is, but that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a real one there. Let's see, how, let's see what he would have measured for the season. Eighteen inches. I think twenty inches is a keeper down here. Nice. That was fun. Whew. Jeez, that water's colder than I thought. Yeah, it seems like in these areas, the depth is almost seems to have nothing to do with it. It's all about just finding the right style of rock. You know, if, it's, if it sticks up enough to give any kind of edge, there's, um, oh, I better retie this. This is, yeah. Uh, it seems like there's always a bunch. There were some big, big mangroves underneath that one. Um, but that guy wanted it more than them, and that's not surprising. I think I may have broke off. Maybe one or two of the fish that I broke today were groupers. Um, I know one that I, when I pulled that, uh, pulled that fish out of that grouper's mouth, I'm positive that was a a Goliath. I don't think there's, unless there's some freak chance of one in a million big, big black grouper down there in the shallow water that ate it. That would be about the only thing I could think of. I'm pretty sure that was a Goliath, but I took his dinner and I'm making it mine. Poor guy. Gotta straighten this hook. That grouper did a number on it. All right, let's get back down there. Um, just seems like there's not much. Really thought I'd find some buttons and stuff kind of sitting in the uh, 10, 11, 12 foot zone around these rock piles and reefs. And I ain't caught a single one. Now I did hook some kind of a big snapper species earlier. Uh, just no idea, you know, without seeing it. Another keeper, but I think we'll wait for one more, a little bit bigger one. Yeah, I'd like to get a little bit bigger one. Something big, but I know it's going to try to go in the rocks. I'm not going to really fight it until I get close. This is just my 12 pound test rod, of course. Troll in here. It's a good fish. I feel insane, but it's a good fish. Nice mutton, just not a keeper. Well, maybe. He's a good size mutton. It's gonna be short. Dang it. Hooked him trolling. He's gonna be short. Oh, that would have been so cool. All right, let's get him unhooked and I'll give you a quick look at him. It's a good fish. Let's see how long he is. Needs to be 18. Oh my gosh. 17 and a half inches. That's a shame. Hard as he fought, I'm not real surprised he's that long. Okay, well, I'm not quite there yet, so I'm gonna try it again. Uh, quick update, this is probably the end of the day for me. I'm, well, not probably it is, I'm heading back trolling right now. Um, haven't gotten a bite on this troll back, but caught a mackerel trolling, caught a half inch short mutton, of course, trolling. 
um, and a mangrove trolling. So that was cool. I mean, it's been neat to figure out this trolling thing. You're just, just trolling stick baits down here in the Keys. It's kind of cool. I mean, if you're going to go from place to place anyway, you might as well have a chance of catching something. So that's been neat. I had one bite on this troll and that was it. But uh, yeah, I had a good day. I'm, I'm happy. I had um, two yellow jacks, which I really wanted for some sashimi tonight. Uh, caught a nice keeper yellow tail. He was only maybe not even quite 13 inches, but still decent fish. Um, and then a lemon of mangroves. So that's kind of a given down here for the most part, unless you really mess up. And uh, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to find a place where you can't catch a lemon of mangroves, if you, it, especially if you have the ability to get on a kayak or a boat. Um, it's, yeah, be hard pressed not to find those. So. Anyway, just heading back. Gonna go load up the kayak and go back and make some fun food tonight. So, caught some blue crabs. We got uh, some other kind of crab that we checked out that you're legally allowed to take the claws off and throw the rest of it back to grow them back. And then uh, some shrimp. We caught a whole bunch of shrimp at the dock. We're actually gonna try cooking those up, some big ones. Ah, uh, big's maybe a overstatement, but big enough to eat for sure. Oh, there's a fish on. That was good timing. something looks like maybe just a cuda or a little mackerel let's see what it is it is the mackerel might as well since i already got one so that was good timing <laughs> so anyway we'll get him in the box and uh if i get anything else i'll check in again but yeah there's a Little Mac, he made 12 inch, something like that. We'll take him. kayak man for a long time now <laughs> this should be fun we're gonna try to get out two three miles or something and catch some yellow tails maybe a mutton or two I do, I see one. What are those things called? Yellow jacks. Bermuda chubs. That ain't no Bermuda chub. That's oh, deep. Look, look, look. I don't see anything. I believe you, I just don't watch see right them. There. I can't watch them, probably about to catch one. Do you cast that or just drop it down? I cast or drop it. And then how slow do you fish? Oh, I, this one's a DOA, so it has to be fished about slow as... So I do, I just I'm letting it drop first and then I jig it. Like, but like, just like, yeah, like a little nub, right? Yep, just like a shrimp would do in the water. Did you? Yeah. These are chubs I just saw here. That's a grunt or something. Oh, what the? What? What is that? I don't know, let's look it up. That ain't, no, that ain't nothing I've ever seen. You see a bag in there, Dan? That is so huh? cool. You see a bag? We gotta look this up. Dude, what is that? Oh, he is spiky. I'm gonna throw him back. He's small and I have no idea what he is. Well, I, thought you had I can't look stuff right? up on my phone. <laughs> Does anybody know where some pliers are? I forgot my pliers like an idiot. It is. I've got two cast and two fish. That is not a bad start. What color shrimp you got? It's like a pinkish, reddish, goldish, orangish thing. Does that make any sense? Dude, they like these fake shrimp evidently out here. Fit. 
that's the only part that's remotely sharp like squeeze the plate shot you know the gill plate yeah. they're not they're not bad at all dude trust me oh well of course yeah that's good times right fish on little i think anyway Am I being stupid and they're in here somewhere? I looked all over in there. there you go. Got them? Thank you, sir. They just kind of blend in with the ice. Yeah. These are going to be frozen, frozen, but. We'll see what happens. Sometimes they're a little better frozen before they get too mushy. Because these do get mushy. Huh? I'm hoping everything, but we'll see. Oh. Throw it out really stupid for a second and then switch up this chicken head. Good one? Come on, be a good one. We need number seven. It's just you gotta pay so much attention to the line. There's a fish. Uh what I'm not hold on, I'm reeling in a fish. Um, yeah, but still like these. yeah, just please don't lose it because that's my favorite. Use it, just don't lose it. You don't use it, definitely getting some shorter ones now. I had a little flurry of keepers. We got to get number nine. Oh, wow. that's a keep, I think. Yeah, Close, huh? Just seems to be the glass in here. And then we got eight in there. That's not bad fishing. A little small, that's all. We just need to find some bigger ends. Big ends. It's a fish mackerel. Somebody want to grab the net? Oh, no, no, yellow. What the heck? That might keep. That's gonna keep. Yeah. Number nine. Right? Nine, yeah. I think. Or was this ten? Nobody put anything in there. Okay. This is the last thing you said nine. Let me see that uh pliers here, Jim. Thank you, sir. You'd be close. You'd be close. Yeah, I think I think this one keeps. He looks like a twelve or twelve and a half or hell, he's he's gonna be close again. Oh no, it's twelve and a half. All right, that's nine. You want to pass me to bet? You got it? Yeah, I think I got it. Or no, big yellow tail. Yes, baby. That. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice job, Tim. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. Right whenever I switch, right? <laughs> you know? Oh, I just seen a mackerel right there. There you no, go. Tim put one in. Oh, he did? Did you put one in, Tim? Oh, yeah, that's 11. See, fellas, we're doing it. We're almost up to your guys' quota yesterday. It's happening. Give me two peanuts. Man, Jim, you're gonna miss my singing from down here. I know it, I know it, I'm positive of it. It's hard, it's hard, Tim, or Jim, when you get away from this kind of talent. I'll have to call you. There you go, like FaceTime. Did I get a, did I get a bite on it? Yes. I got a fish on, that's the problem. Mine's short, his keeps. Where's them pliers? Mine is buried. Oh, he cut the whole mess off. Yeah, I think he did. 
Well, he just popped the balloon at least. Let me see, he might be on the line, actually. If I can ever get this thing unhooked. Let me see what's going on with this really quick. Here's keeper Tim. Did he cut the, he cut the whole thing, the wire leader and everything. He must've got it way too far up. I ain't redoing that right now. Good fish, bud. Number 12 in the box. Oh, mackerel's looking at mine right now. Just flashed at it. Don't hit it. I want to retie again. Fish on. Oh, this feels nice. Well, now it doesn't. This should be a keeper, I think. Maybe not. Man, they just sometimes they just pull. He's close. Short, guys. Should I bother measuring him? Let me have the pliers real quick. Well, it's close. It's very close. I think actually he might keep. I mean, the uh, Sammy Creek. No. Sure. Go ahead. Have at it. There's no garlic or butter that's going to make that taste good. How big do they got to be? 15. That's what we're talking about. I wonder how 15, 14 or 15, somewhere right there. Probably 14. Nice fish, dude. I figured it wasn't a yellow tail because I couldn't get it off. You're like, ground. wait a second, what's happening here? Okay, that's good. Nice fish, bud. So that's uh, 16 snappers total. Try it on that side. There's a fish. That could be close. Now I feel small. Yeah. He's small. The pliers, Tim? I got it. I knew he ran it right to me. Little guy. Don't swallow it again. Oh, I'm in the chum. Yes. But a whoo! They do like these pilchers. No way around it. Oh, something looking at it. That wasn't a. That wasn't a uh, chub. Not sure what that was. What pound test do you have? I don't know. Well, or, uh, hey, is this twelve also? Yeah. That's what I have on this. I'd give you another one, but I don't. I don't have any more. I got a fish on though. Grouper. Group, group. You have one of those today, right? No. <laughs> Keeper. Nice. Fish on. This one feels a little better. Yeah, that was awesome. This one might keep. Oh, did you have a reef dog? Gosh. What do you have? I'm so excited, dude. I have me a Bermuda Joe. Oh, this one I think keeps too. Yeah, this definitely, this is, a, looks like a, well, this one's close. It's got to be close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim's is, yeah. Mike's probably is too. It's going to be close. All right, getting some nice yellows.